Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Today we're going to wrap up on our React section. And to wrap up, we've already discussed the 14-day letter. That's the 14 days that React gives you now in order to be ready for them. We've discussed the purpose of a React inspection. We've discussed the zero score that you'll receive if you refuse to allow React to come on the scheduled date. We've discussed the fact that you get an additional seven days to reschedule if you miss the original date. We've discussed that 50% of the units will be inspected, and that's the focus that React has on 50% of the units. Remember now, React's new protocol will, for the future will be to focus on the units, and that will be 50%. Also remember that if the units don't pass at least 50% inspection, the property will fail. We talked about 25% for the interior and common areas, and we've talked about 25% for the exterior and those common areas, including the building equipment and systems both in and out. So. Next, guess what we're going to talk about? Two more things to this React puzzle. The first one is that we've placed on our website a little list that we're calling a pre-React inspection. It just gives you tips about what to look for and what to do when you're preparing for your React inspection. The next thing, part two of this puzzle that I'd like to talk about is managers. Yeah, managers. You cannot manage a property successfully by sitting behind the desk. Yes, I went there. You just have to get up out of that seat and you have to walk your property. You have to look at the exterior, the interiors. You have to know your residents. We had a young lady that called that received one of the 14-day letters and I asked her, well, how did you do? She says, Miss Vicki, I didn't do so well. I depended too much on maintenance. I said, what do you mean? She says, well, I depended on maintenance to get everything together because in my mind, I'm thinking a physical inspection and that's what they do. But we got dinged for a fence, a hole in our fence. We got dinged for glass on the grounds. We got dinged for uh, windows being broken or cracked. And we got a big D in the electrical box in the office. Nobody thought to check it. Well, I admire her for taking the responsible role. She did not blame maintenance. She says, I guess it was my fault because as a manager, I should have made sure that these things were done, which is true. And like I told her, you can't sit behind the desk and just write out the work orders and send them on to maintenance and expect to pass a REACT inspection or any inspection, not even an MOR. You've got to get from behind that desk and you've got to walk your property. A good manager walks and knows their property. A second example that I want to tell you about, I have pictures to support this. We had a call from a resident that was telling us that she was getting rodents inside her unit and that they were coming from the plumbing that the maintenance man had duct taped. I said, duct tape? She said, yes, ma'am. I said, well, send me a couple of the pictures. She sent me the pictures. I called the manager, asked the manager if she knew that unit blase blase needed repairs. And she said, yes, I've sent the maintenance man up there twice. And he has done those repairs, and I have completed work orders to prove it. I said, you might have work orders, but did you go and look at the unit? Have you seen the repair work? Well, no, because I trust my maintenance man. I said, well, I'm going to send you the pictures that the resident sent me. I sent her the pictures. Here they are. You guys look at them. This is the before pictures. She went, oh my God, Miss Vicki, I didn't realize it looked like that. Yes, ma'am, that's exactly how it looked. She says, well, I will get on top of this right away. True to her word, in about three hours, I received this set of pictures. It's quite a bit of difference there, isn't there? 
I couldn't understand why she didn't, at least from time to time, go behind maintenance to make sure that they were doing the job that they should do. I always said that a maintenance man will make or break a property. So I want you guys to come from behind the desk. I know you have a lot of paperwork. I know we have to be octopus arms that we have to re certify that we have to do paperwork, we have budgets, we have a lot to do. But one of the main things that you have to do is to make sure that these units are in decent, safe, and sanitary conditions. We were told when I came into this industry, would you allow your mother to live there? Or would you live there under those conditions? So I challenge you all to think likewise. So that's my little pet peeve on managers getting and walking their property. Hopefully you will. Hopefully the checklist that we have on our website will help you and your maintenance staff in having a good REACT inspection. I want to say goodbye for now, but guess what? April showers bring May flowers. In our industry, April showers bring Fair Housing Month. April is National Fair Housing Month. So this month, we're going to have a series on fair housing. I would like to receive questions from you that you want answered on fair housing, and we will go over those questions on the last session. That will be the last Tuesday tip of April. So you can go on to the link that you see for our Tuesday tips, or you can just email me at my email address. I look forward to receiving them. I look forward to trying to put us a panel together to answer some of those questions. And I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.